All right, welcome back. Music with Todd Ledbetter. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys are here. Uh, as you can see, we are with some David Sylvian, and uh, we're back to the Gone to Earth album. And we listened to the track uh, last week, a couple weeks ago, Laughter and Forgetting. And I guess it blends in perfectly to Before the Bullfight. I was informed in one of the comments. Thank you so much. So I am looking forward to hearing Before the Bullfight. That's a uh, 1986 was when this was released. That's a long time ago. And so I'm, but I'm looking forward to hearing it. So let's get into it. We'll check it out. Before the bullfight. Yeah, it must have, must blend right in from the other song. Nine minute song, so it's kind of long. Tense of steel, and here I 
That was nine minutes. That went by so fast. I am shocked. I was sort of entranced, really. The the rhythm of the drums, you know, was very consistent. And so it just kind of pulled you in. And then with the um, keyboards and all the strings uh, and the pads going on there, more like, not, not strings, but pads, 
uh, was just sort of hypnotic and it and it's between the drum beat and that and that his voice David's voice is so um, amazing the deepness of it and the richness of quality is really really impressive uh, but he is also so um, good at making melodies in that range you know and to be fl very flowy in that range he hits some very low notes a couple of times really interesting uh, but that just is perfect i was thinking about well let me just talk about the song for a minute more um and the guitars just all that lead guitar going on uh sort of counterbalancing his vocal was it was just a really perfect song such a perfect song um i was thinking a little bit during the song about how the handful of songs i've heard from him from his solo career are have all kind of been mellower songs kind of like this and i don't know if that that's obviously uh obviously something he enjoys and i don't know if there's more up-tempo stuff or what but when i think of up-tempo stuff i think of japan and how seemingly different his solo stuff is from what i what little i know about japan i, I only know a few songs uh you know but then also you know you've got uh mick Carnes on bass so it, it you know that's super super distinctive in japan too but uh it it just seems i don't know does he have more up-tempo stuff not that i really care because if that's who dave david sylvian is then uh i'm all in I, I really like his sensibility his musicality um not just in his voice but all the musicians and the way he puts together a song is very very pleasing to me um so but maybe he gets a little rock and more rock and i don't know if he does let me know but if not let me know what else we should listen to but that was a gorgeous song yeah um very very nice to hear that not sure how popular that song is or anything let's see i mean it's got you know forty-six thousand listens on spotify um but you know this song's been out since 1986 and so spotify hasn't so um and there's a lot of other platforms too so that's pretty good i'm sure he gets a lot of listens obviously there's people that really really like him um i've been hearing about him for a while now and I've said it before is Japan was the very first reaction video I did uh, was a recommendation from a friend of mine. And so uh, that sort of sparked all kinds of, you know, the port it led me into Porcupine Tree and, and, and stuff like that. And just so much other stuff, all of Steve Wilson's side projects. It just it just took off, you know, and David Sylvian. So um, there's just so many connections and a lot of the music, you know, that uh I was going to say like Opeth and Stephen Wilson, you know, just it just keeps connecting, you know, C connects, connects, connects here, here, here. And it all just goes all right back down to that first Japan video. OK, guys, thank you for uh, checking out some more David Sylvie. And I appreciate you clicking on my channel. I really do. Um, you guys are awesome. You always great. Give me great songs to discover. And uh, you guys seem passionate about them. So and and uh you've got great taste <laughs> and if i don't like it i'll let you know and this you know what i mean to be honest i i it's hard for me not to like something uh in music i always find something uh i always try to find something good but there's been a few you know bands and songs on on the uh channel that i i just couldn't really wrap my mind around or whatever i didn't feel like pursuing uh anymore for whatever reason but um uh, not very many, you know, you guys have really 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 given a lot of great songs and I appreciate it All right, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe and um, Comment down below. Let me know what you think and where we should go or what your experiences are uh, with Japan or with uh, David Sylvian and uh, Over on uh, Ko-Fi you can recommend songs over there as well and helps out the channel and also check out my uh, pretty extensive um, a patreon i got a lot of stuff over there that's not on any other platform and so uh find a link down in the description or wherever you might find it on my my uh channel and uh go check it out 
All right, guys. Thanks a lot. See you down in the comments. See you in the next video. You guys have a great day. Thanks for being here. Bye.